Hello my YouTube beauties and welcome back to my channel. Today we are going to talk about my March obsessions and these are all the things I've been loving for March. Um, I will warn you there's quite a bit of skincare, there's some face stuff, there's makeup stuff, there's lip stuff. So if you are interested in these kinds of videos then just keep watching. What is this? What is this? The first item I'm going to talk about is skincare, and um, this is by Aesthetic Arts, and I first saw uh, Marlena from Makeup Geek talking about this cleanser. This is the Aesthetic Arts Purifying Peppermint Cleansing Gel. The whole gist with this um, Aesthetic Arts brand, it is supposed to be all natural, no super harsh chemicals, um, stuff that's really good for your skin. This says a refreshing purifying cleanser to help soothe, calm, and balance acne prone, oily, and congested skin. Natural exfoliant willow bark extract declogs pores while pore purifying, say that, pore purifying, pore purifying, pore purifying, pore pure. I'm actually pretty good at that. While pore purifying essential oils of eucalyptus and sage stop problems before they start. So this smell like peppermint. So if you don't like the smell of peppermints, I wouldn't buy this. The next product I have to talk about is a toner from Aesthetic Arts as well. Um, I just bought this at the beginning of the month. It's called Herbal Infusion and it's supposed to be clarifying and soothing. And this has peppermint oil, barberry, and common hop. My boyfriend would like this because he likes hops. I think if you're very sensitive to smells, you might not like this. This kind of smells like the stuff that you put on your skin when you get sunburned and a mix with that with um, vapor rub. That's what it smells like. So it doesn't necessarily have the best smell in the world, but I think it's definitely doable for um, how great this toner is. The last skincare thing I have to talk about is the Clinique Take the Day Off Cleansing Balm, and I have never used a cleansing balm, never used a cleansing oil. I've only been into makeup wipes since I can remember um, to take off my makeup, but I saw Casey Holmes talking about this, and I thought it was a good idea, so I put an order on Sephora. It comes in like this jar. It's 3.8 ounces. So you take the cap off, and it looks like this. You can tell it's not even that used just because you don't need that much. I do like what I do to not get my like grimy hands in there. I get a Q-tip and I kind of get some out of the jar and put it on my hands and then rub it into my face. And it turns from this like really hard balm to like a milky consistency. I find I have to use barely any to get my eye makeup off. Like completely off. The next thing I have to talk about is hair related. I don't really ever have hair items just because like I don't do my hair like clearly. I am someone that has quite a bit of body naturally so I don't need really need to do much to my hair. I don't style it every day. That would take way too long. The fact that I have loved this so, this product so much says a lot. So this is the Verb Ghost Oil. It has a smoothing moringa blend. It's like a weightless hair oil that you put in your hair either when it's dry or when it's damp. Um, it makes it so soft. I constantly touch my hair when I'm using this. I got my mom addicted to this. It is so good. It says no parabens, no gluten, no sulfate. So I guess this is gluten free. And my last like odd favorite, I'm just gonna get that out there. I have to be careful because it's lit right now and I don't want to put it out because I'll tell you why. So this is a candle from TJ Maxx I believe I got it from. I was looking just for like their home stuff because they had a sale going on and I found this like candle line that's there. Um, They have a bunch of random candles and I found this one and it's a soy candle. It's from Sensational. It's a natural soy candle and it looks like this. I have to be careful because it's on. Um, And it says and it's the chrome one but i really don't want to like move the oil around too much because it will get rid of the light i just ran out of oil in my lighter so i can't relight it so i'm trying to keep it lit <laughs> oh there goes my flame it is for summer spring um it's very light and like fruity so i really enjoy it because it's not too strong and it's soy because it's good so it's gonna last a lot longer than like a bath and body wear candle so the next product i have to talk about i think was in my last favorites video i've been using this for about two months this is the skin Demetri james orchid gel mattifying day treatment seal 
this stuff, guys. It works so well as a primer. You open it up and you can see it's already kind of halfway gone. I have been using this. It's a purple gel. It's in a plastic container. Um, it is kind of bulky for travel, so I wouldn't recommend traveling with this. It kind of takes up a lot of room. This works so well as uh, that Makeup Forever mattifying primer, that skin equalizer thing. It works just as good and you get two ounces in here. I just put this on my T-zone and I stay matte the entire day. I've never had a primer do that before. I will repurchase this over and over and over. It's realistic. Literally, it's been the only primer I've used for the last two months straight. This is amazing. If you have not tried the Skin Dimitri James line, you totally should. I want to try out more stuff. They have this like plasma underneath eye cream concealer thing that I really want to try. So let's talk about the foundation I haven't been able to put down since I got it. But this is the Fiona Styles Matte Finish Foundation. This is my favorite foundation I've ever tried ever. And that's saying a lot. I have a lot of foundations. I think I can count probably like 15 foundations that I'm looking at right now. This is better. This is a matte foundation. She does have a luminous foundation. This matte finish foundation is in a frosted glass packaging and the other one is just clear. It comes with a pump. It's amazing. I love the little design on it. Like this is awesome. I have not worn another foundation in probably a month straight. That's never happened before. It is so good for oily skin. It keeps me matte. I love how it applies. I'm wearing it today. This is another holy grail eye setting powder for me. I know Marc Jacobs has one that's really similar. That's probably the same and is a heck of a lot more. This is the Wet n Wild Mega Glow Contouring Palette in Caramel Toffee. Okay, let's just take a moment. Do you see that? I hit pan. I have never hit pan on a makeup item in my entire life. I much only use this yellow color to set my under eyes. I haven't used anything else. This caramel shade is just maybe a little too warm for me right now. It sets my under eye concealer so well I don't crease, I don't cake up. This is awesome. And it's from the drugstore, so it's really inexpensive. Next, I have a brush. This is the Benefit new hula brush. I don't really know. It's like a contouring and bronzing brush. It's really soft. It's dome shaped as you can see and it's blue on the top. Like how cool is that? But it has this beautiful like bamboo handle and it's heavy so you know that this was like nicely made. I absolutely love this. It's almost like it comes to a tapered point kind of. When you're bronzing your face it gets right underneath your cheekbone to give you almost a contoured and bronze look. I don't know how to describe it. It's not super fluffy. I mean, it's fluffy, but it's not super sparse like a bronzing brush is. Like this. This is my normal bronzing brush. This is by Morphe. It's the Morphe M527. And so you can see the difference in how fluffy they are. Um, this one is definitely for an all over. It covers a lot more area on your face. This is more of for a contour, a little bronzed look. So I love this. It's really soft. The next item I have to talk about is the um, Lighting Crew. No, that's not what it's called. The Beauty Crop. It's the Lighting Crew Highlighting Cream. I, I got this in one of the BoxyCharm boxes and it says nourished with pineapple and green tea. So I would think that this is good for you, kind of. I'll just take a little bit. Close it. And I'm so not into like hiding highlighting creams. Do you see that? Like blended out. That is beautiful. I mean, it's really intense. So you do have to be careful. But if it's blended out like all over my hand, I mean, obviously this got a pink glow to it. But wow, look at my hand. It's so great. You need just a tiny, tiny bit of it. It just adds such a beautiful light to the tops of your cheeks. Last two products I have are lip products. The first one is the one that I'm wearing on my lips right now. And it is the Buxom Big and Sexy um, Sin Lipstick in Sinful Cinnamon. This is just like a mini sample. I live off of samples. This is a gorgeous color. I have learned to love love the formula. It might be my favorite matte formula, like over liquid lipsticks. I'm kind of over the liquid lipstick thing. It is drying the heck out of my lips. It's just a mess. I don't want to spend days recovering my lips from just one day of wearing liquid lipsticks. It's just like not a thing. So I reverted to matte lipsticks. This is what it looks like swatched. 
It's really pigmented. It's really beautiful. It's kind of like this like sultry mauve color. Again, it's what I'm wearing on my lips right now. It lasts for hours on my lips. I think I had to touch up once throughout the day wearing this. And then the last one that I have is the uh, Laura Mercier um, Cream Smooth Lip Color in Audrey. Again, this is like a little baby sample thing. So this is what the color looks like. It is more of a berry toned, definitely berry magenta. Um, this is what it looks like swatched on my hand. Again, super creamy, super pigmented. It does have more of a sheen to it. Again, look at this. They give you so much in the sample size. I wore this for the first time at the beginning of the month and I have not been able to put it down since. It stays on my lips. It does have a little bit more of a cream finish, a uh, cream satin finish to it, which I don't mind because it dried down eventually. I think the color is absolutely beautiful. I don't have anything else like this in my collection. I just think it's a perfect alternative to like that bright red that I have a ton of. I have to throw this in there because I just bought this off of Etsy and this has kind of been like inspiring me for like everything in life. I bought the image off of Etsy and it says just wing it. Life, eyeliner, everything. I just like it because it reminds me to be spontaneous and take chances and not live inside my little bubble that I sometimes am in. I think it's really cute. I think it totally relates to life and eyeliner. Let's be real. My last favorite is chocolate. Yep, worked up. So that is all I have for you guys. I know this is kind of a long um, obsessions video, but I hope you stuck around to the end. If you did, give it a thumbs up. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Give it a thumbs up if you liked it. Please subscribe if you have not already, and I will see you guys later in my next video. Bye.